Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger. If you guys have a dot challenger, you need to find where the fuse for the vacuum pump is located. We'll cover that today. Actually, you have up to two fuses, so make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain about each one of those and we'll explain common mistakes people make when removing, replacing fuse that can actually cost you quite a bit of time and money as well. Uh, so all that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage will be making at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that Dodge Challenger specifically, we will be taking completely apart transmission engine wise and we have multiple ones which are the V6 and the V8, so videos will be coming very soon. Uh, uh, why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, Check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So, what do we need to do guys? This specifically it's a 2018 Dodge Challenger that we'll be demonstrating on. Uh, we're going to go ahead, open the hood and if you come right here, we just, okay, open the hood. Car has been in a little bit of an accident, so ignore that guys. But uh, if you come right here, okay, the fuse that we need to check is actually guys, two fuses. Uh, under the fuse box here, you have uh, each one of those things here, so we need to squish towards each other, pull up, the fuse box will open, the fuse numbers here correspond to actually uh, what we have in the fuse box, and uh, two fuses guys that we need to check now, uh, but uh, always test your fuses, don't assume the fuse is bad or good, because if you assume it's good and you put it back, you may spend quite a bit of time and money fixing a problem that all we had to do is replace the fuse, so we'll put a link to a video that will teach you how to test the fuse, and how to guys test a relay as well. So, uh, fuse that we need to check. First fuse is number 39. It's that fuse right here. This fuse guys needs to be checked. And then you have one more fuse actually that is known as fuse number 51. This one here. Okay, the third fuse. One, two, three. That third fuse, third fuse from uh, bottom to top on the very left side. You need to check these fuses. If uh, your vacuum pump still doesn't work, we'll have a video how to test vacuum pump and how to replace vacuum pump as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.